Hi guys. Hello, it's Rochelle, Legacy Home and Garden. Just checking in real quick. I know it's been a minute since I posted a video. Here's why. Um, I had all these grandioso plans for my fall garden and that didn't happen. And I was so bummed out about it, but I'm over it now. But I got to thinking, what are some things that I did last year that I want to do better at in the coming year? And what did I learn from my garden last year that I can carry over to this year? So I just quick had five little things I wanted to share. I garden in the ground and in raised beds. And this past season, I planted, um, big mistake, well, I won't do it again, but I planted tomatoes and I also planted cucumbers on the same trellis. So I put tomatoes on the one side and then the cucumbers at the end on the other. And the tomatoes I grow are heritage air, um, indeterminate, so they can go huge. And it wasn't that it wasn't successful, because it was, and I got a tremendous amount of tomatoes and cucumbers, but it took a lot of maintenance. And so, and I'm in my garden every day anyway, but I decided I would not grow indeterminate tomatoes and cucumbers on the same trellis. What... I also would do different this year is I would move my blackberries and my grapes um, from the back half of my garden and bring them front center because they don't get enough sun there. Well, I didn't know that. I, you know, kind of watched the area. I thought that they got enough sun. It appeared to be, but they didn't produce. They didn't grow very well. And I know it's because they didn't get enough sun and enough water. So the thing, I won't do this year is is I won't leave them where they're at I'm gonna dig them up here it's fall and you really want to dig up or plant your trees or plants um, fruit bushes and things like that when they're dormant so I will be moving my blackberries and my grapes um, to another spot my mom had grapes and she had them in the direct sun and they those things went crazy and she had all kinds of grapes and that's what I want so I'm gonna move mine uh, the number three thing I'm going to do different this year is I'm going to plant more melons. And I mean Kajari melons, Cuca melons, watermelons. Um, I'm going to plant more melons this year because we just didn't have enough last year. And I was cautious about it because you know they just vine everywhere. Well, my watermelons I planted in a raised bed on the ground, okay, um, or in pots. And I think I got three or four small ones. And my Kajari melon, sorry, I trellised and they did really well. And my Kuka melons, which are just little tiny, they look like a little tiny watermelon and they have the bite of like a cucumber. So there it's a cuc I call it a Kuka melon, but they're called, they're actually, um, I think they call them a German gherkin or something like that. But anyway, um, so I will plant way more melons this year because we thoroughly enjoyed those and they're great, uh, cool, refreshing fruit to eat. So I will add, uh, I will definitely grow those and grow more melons, more watermelons. I might even try my hand at the cantaloupe or musk melon, depending on where you live, um, what you call it, but I call it a cantaloupe or musk melon. And so I'm going to grow some more of those. I might grow those. Um, my grandson loves them, and he tried his hand at growing them, and he's really successful. Um, so I might get that. I might give that a shot. Another thing that I'm going to do different this year is I am going to plant more flowers in my garden and around my garden than I did last year. Now, last year, I did have quite a few marigolds planted, and I had... Um, there's another one. I can't even think of the name of it, but it grows real tall and it's got little red flowers on it. That thing, from the moment I planted it, and I'm going to figure out the name of it, but from the moment I planted that thing in my garden until we had our first frost just last week, that thing bloomed and stayed bloomed the entire time. I'm not kidding you. And it drew in a ton of the pollinators. I planted two little plants and they probably got about three feet tall and maybe two feet wide. I didn't know they were going to get that big because when I got them, they were just little. And they bloomed a ton of little tiny red flowers. And that thing stayed bloomed 
the entire spring it started, all through summer, all through fall, until just last week we got our first frost and it knocked it out. So I'm definitely going to get the name of that um, plant, flower, and I'm going to plant more of those. But I'm, I planted a lot of marigolds, but as you know, I harvest those also to make salve. And I tried a different kind of marigold last year and I wasn't really excited about it. Um, it had a great big round tight head on it and um, um, I don't know I just wasn't a real fan of it so I probably won't plant those but traditional marigolds I'm going to plant more of those and different colors of flowers I want um, more color in my garden this year so I'm going to do that um, and then the one thing I'm going to add to my garden this year I know 100% that I didn't have last year is beans. We love beans. We eat a lot of beans. We liked baked beans. I love, love, love pinto beans, and it's all my mom's fault. When we were growing up, she would make a pinto bean soup, and she would make um, um, fried potatoes with it and biscuits. And there is nothing in the winter like a hot bowl of bean soup with some little bits of ham in it and some fried potatoes with onions and peppers in them and a warm biscuit with melted butter. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that. Um, but anyway, I still love having that meal. And every time I make it with me, for me and my husband, yeah, I, I think of my mom every time. And so I can never make it as delicious as she did, but I put my own twist on it. It's, and I am going to grow pinto beans for sure. Um, also, I did get a couple of other different kinds of beans that I'm going to try. I'm not a huge fan of green beans. Now, in some things I am, but I don't like them when they've been frozen and then eat them. I don't like that. Um, I don't like them just like boiled or steamed. I don't like that. I wish there was a way I could really like saute them and maybe there is. I just don't know it. So I won't grow a lot of green beans or anything like that. Um, but other kinds of beans, lentils that you could make in soups and, and that you could store cold. You know, you don't have to freeze them. And so I'm going to add a variety of beans to my garden this year. Overall, last year was my... I want to say it was my fourth year gardening or maybe my third. It was my most prolific um, garden. Um, I had an abundance of potatoes and peppers and lettuce and spinach and kohlrabi, um, bok choy, which is delicious. I definitely, um, that was another thing, we'll plant more bok choy. Absolutely fantastic. Love it. I'm going to stick with the smaller ones. I didn't grow those great big ones, but I'll stick with the smaller. And the reason I need to do that, I'm only feeding two people. Um, but anyway, that was just a quick highlight of what I was thinking, what I learned from my garden last year, what I'm going to do different this year, and what I might add and what I'm, you know. So I hope that helped you. I hope that you're planting your garden, and I hope it goes really well for you. I really appreciate you coming by and stopping by. Please hit the like. Subscribe if you haven't, and share my video. Um, leave me a comment. I sure appreciate it. I appreciate you checking things out. I hope your gardening season was successful for you, and I'm wishing you nothing but good luck in your new garden for the spring. And if you were successful in getting your fall garden in, I hope it's going amazingly for you. Again, it's Rochelle with Legacy Home and Garden. Thanks for stopping in and listening. I will see you soon. Love ya. Bye.